So let's review the main app again. So when you run your application, we start from the main. So in the main, we create the attributes name primary stage here. Which I try to say, hey, this when start is equal to this primary stage and set the title to it so when we run the app that's the title address app and we create a list person data which is the observable array list which is part of observable list uh, person now you can add other person into the list that I instantiate from the person class. And we have the layout, border layout, root layout. So root layout pretty much another XML that we will we plan to create a menu like this later on. So that's why we have that layout. And we have the person overview of XML layout which is going to be loaded inside show person overview and init root layout is where we init uh, the menu layout now I didn't create a menu yet but I want to show you we have the init root layout ready which is the root layout which has only the border pane has nothing in there yet except border pane that's it so we'll prepare to have the menu on the top of the border pane but we're not creating it yet so what we do is we use this then we, we show it right root layout set to the scene and then primary state set scene so the reason I had to create the attributes is because I created the methods to init each layout root layout and show person overview now let's look at show person overview show person overview we can guess the person data back now show person overview is so we use XF, FXML loader again right so just like the way that we do here we load the root layout into the loader and loader load just cast to border pane and root layout set to the scene. Now we do the same, but we use anchor pane for the person overview, and we just set it into the root layout. Like on the top of root layout, we have person overview FXML and set it to center because root layout has a top and center because we use border pane. So person overview is going to be a center. Since we didn't put in the top of the menu, so we have it right there. So, which is the person overview XFML, FXML, we use anchor pane and table view. And of course, in the table view, we have to make sure that our code links to the right FX ID. Like for table view, link to person table from the person controller, person overview controller. We create a class named person overview controller, adding fxml person table, first name column, last name column. So these are the fxml that we're linking to person overview through here fxid, fxid, fxid. Which is the same if you can just add into your XML file right there. So that's how we link it to the controller. Now get back to the main. So main, since we link to controller, so the main, we have to give the controller access to the main. So we instantiate the controller here like get instant right get controller like loader dot get controller 
which is a person overview controller. All right, so the loader has a controller, and then controller dot set main app to this. Pretty much just pass this view to controller. Now the anchor pin. One more thing is you have to put a controller to link to the controller right like there, right? Person overview controller. Now, when we get the controller, then we can set main app which is looking at this view. So look back into the controller, which is person overview controller. So this is pretty much just create an instant of main app. We have initialized, initialized the place where it's going to get all the data and set into the table view on each column. All right, so data get values which is from the optional list which when we do this we pass main app here and person table dot set items call get person data which is get person data is returning from the main so if you look at the main We have get person data, which is like return on the optional list that we created here, person data list. So this is going to set items into person table. Like person table has what we call set items. And that's how we are able to populate the data into the table. So once we are able to do this, then we should be able to apply this technique to our application. So come back to our main application here. So we already have the FX ML hospital list view, which we put a table view. Right, so we decide that the first anchor pin, we have text field. The second one is the table view. So this is what we want to focus in the second one here. Now we need to add all the columns, right? Table view has two columns. We have how many columns depending on the hospital? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need nine columns because we have nine feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we pretty much can do the same here. So just switch to this to four, six, eight, ten. So delete one as nine. Now we can just do the Changing the text to like hospital name, right? Just name. And street address, right? City. State. Latitude, longitude, phone number, and photo. Now, of course, we need a controller that we can link, right? And let's look at our con. Controller. Oh, 
hospital list controller. So technically we need to do the same like create the annotation like this person controller. Something like this. Now instead of person it's gonna be hospital. And this is gonna be hospital table. And we have to do the same. Oh, uh, by the way, the we said uh, it's recommending that not using string, right? So we might want to change our data type. Of this to use the string property instead, right? So we can use string of them, we can change them to string property. So let's see if I can do refactor rename everything. I think I should be able to rename all right. I don't want to do one by one. 